Question number nine. Here is a triangle. When we've got to measure the shortest side accurately in centimeters, and we've got to measure the largest angle using a protractor. So obviously to measure the side, we need to get ourselves a ruler. Now you can tell just by looking at it really that the shortest side is going to be this one. So this one's the shortest, this one's the longest, and this is the middle side. You can probably tell that just by looking at it to be honest or using a quick test with your fingers. So if we get the ruler, place it over the short side, making sure that the zero is level with the start of the line there, and we measure as accurately as we can towards the end of the line. Now that's level with 55 millimeters. So 55 millimeters is the same as 5.5 centimeters. So 5.5 is what you would write in there. Obviously you've got to be as accurate as you can. They will normally allow you one millimeter out either side. So if the true distance is 5.5 centimeters, you could probably get away with putting 5.6 centimeters or 5.4 centimeters. But any less accurate than that, and you would get it marked wrong. Okay? So you're allowed one millimeter either side. Really important not just to round it to the nearest whole centimeter. So, for example, if something was 6.8 centimeters and you put 7 centimeters, that would actually be 2 millimeters out and that would be marked wrong. So, if it's 6.8 you, and you can see that it's 6.8, you've got to put 6.8. Okay, the second question asks you to measure the largest angle. Now, in terms of the angles, if we just clear the space here, okay. The largest angle, well, you can see that this angle and this angle are both acute, which is less than 90 degrees, and this angle that's left is obviously an obtuse angle. So that's the angle we're measuring, and that's obtuse. So you get your angle measurer, you make sure the center of the angle measurer is right in the corner of the angle, like so and you make sure that zero is pointing along one of the lines. And you can see my zero there is pointing along this line. Once you're in position, you start counting round to see where the line that you're measuring actually is level with. So from the zero, we've got to go 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120, 130, 140 and it's gone slightly past 140 because there's the line you can just about see there. So two degrees beyond 140 would be 142 degrees which is what we're going to say in our answer. You could actually have done it using the other zero over here if you'd have tilted the other zero to be going up along this line here like so and this time counted round from that zero, you'd be counting round the outside. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120, 130, 140, and the bottom of the triangle is level is there, so again, gets 142. Whichever zero you use, if you're using that zero, you're counting round from zero on the inside scale of numbers. But if you have zero pointing up that line, you're counting around using the outside scale of numbers. Whichever zero you use, you should still get the same answer of 142 degrees. Again, they'll allow you one degree either side, so 141 or 143 degrees would also be acceptable. But please, please, please be as accurate as you can.